Today I'm going to show you how to create your very own URL shortener using URLs. URLs is a PHP package that you run on your own hosting that has reporting features um, like you'd see with a pro account uh, like on Bitly or something like that. So before I start this tutorial, um, there's two things you're going to need. Uh, one is a short domain, uh, which you can buy on like a register like GoDaddy or we use Namecheap, um, and web hosting. So once you have those two things, you're good to go. So here you have to set up your very own URL shortener with URLs. First thing to do, you need to grab the code from their GitHub page. So just click the zip archive here. Then we'll open it up. We need to copy all of these files to your host. Um, I'm just running a local host here on my computer using a program called MAMP. So I'm just going to copy them to the local directory. Next thing you need to do is set up your users and your database. I'm going to be doing that through PHP My Admin. So the easiest way to do that is to actually create a new user. We'll call it URLs. Set host to local. Set up password. And then we need to click this box that says create database with the same name and grant all privileges and click go. So now if you go to the users, you'll see the URLs user and then database also here. Next thing you do is edit the config file in the user folder. First thing we need to do actually is rename it to just config.php. Then open it with a text editor and we need to edit a few lines in here because this file is basically the um, settings for the install. So the first thing we need to do here is fill in the username for the database, which is URLs, and then the password, which I just set to Techspresso. Our, our database is already called the URLs, so we skip down to the site options. Under URL site, type in your site, so I'm just going to type uh, localhost, since this is on my computer, and the port for the server. Make sure you don't put a trailing slash at the end of this, otherwise it won't work. Um, then we're going to set the time zone, so I will set it to negative 4 for Eastern Time, which is where we are. You can skip down to cookie key. Basically, I just want you to type any random gibberish you want there, the longer the better. Next, we are setting up our usernames, so I'm actually going to get rid of this second one since I don't need two. I'll name the username, admin, and I'll set the password to Techspresso. Now this is in plain text now, but actually the first time you run URLs, um, it'll actually hash the password so it's safe. The only other two things you really need to worry about, um, there's some options here for the URL conversion. Um, if you set it to 36, it generates all lowercase keywords. If you set it to 62, it um, generates mixed case keywords, so you can actually have more URLs, but um, if it's something you're not worried about, best to just leave it at 36. And then there's also some words that can be uh, reserved so they won't be used in a generated URL. So we're going to save this file and close it. Then we're going to navigate to our domain slash admin to run the URLs installer. So click install. Now it's actually going to generate a bunch of errors which say that uh, it wasn't able to create the tables. But if you go into your PHP My Admin and go to the database, you'll actually see that it, it did actually successfully make those. So then we'll just navigate back to your domain slash admin, and it'll present us with a login page. So we'll type in admin, techspresso, and we're in. So here's the basic interface. Um, any URL you want to shorten, you just type up in this bar here. And you can see you can actually generate a custom URL as well, or you can just hit shorten. Once your URL is created, you can track statistics. Um, there's none here yet, but here, let's see if we click on it once. And go back. If you hover over the actions here in the graph, that's where you get your stats. So you see it goes, woo! One visit. It's probably the most visits the site has ever gotten, actually. <laughs> so um, to make shortening URLs easier, you can also um, create little bookmarklets, um, which if you see if you always show 
should just be able to drag right into our bookmarks. So if we're on the site, we can just click this, it'll jump right into our interface and the URL has been made. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Happy linking. I think that was the good one. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs>